Can't you see he's the man? Let me hear you applaud. He is more than a man. He's a shiny golden god. If you think it's time to fucking okay, no. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time we found our way here. Well, we made our way into here, rather. Ancient Cistern. Yeah, my favorite dungeon of the game. Today we are going to go ahead and explore this. Side note, I am you know, I got a new little setup to record this now. I'm actually in my own room. Got a new TV. And my god, this picture just makes me want to freaking cry. It just looks so nice. It also looks a bit darker, too. Not not in a bad way, but it just seems like Link's clothes are a bit darker and I don't know, it looks nice. It looks really nice. But anyway, enough of that. We are going to explore the ancient cistern. Oh, and by the way, I'm also uh, recording the my well my commentary on my actual computer as opposed to my uh, laptop. So hopefully the audio quality will be better. Carved into the great statue are inscriptions of gratitude. They reveal the sacred order. Wait, yeah, sacred order of this temple. Okay, I the red is kind of hard to read for me right now. First the back, then the rear. Okay, then the back of the right hand, and finally the back of the left hand. So back, rear. Okay, first the back, and then the rear, then back of the right hand, and finally the back of the left hand. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I actually <laughs> used a guide to figure out uh, that pattern uh, my first time through here. So hopefully I'll be able to figure it out on my own this time. If not, well then, hey, stuff happens. Okay, and then we got some shoes right here. They, oh, uh, nope. Shoes, shoes, die. All right. Yeah, as for why this is, oh, big shoe. As for why this is my favorite dungeon in the game, dungeon slash temple slash place you can explore. Just got to wait and see. We got a jelly blob, and it seems that the volume is pretty loud on my TV. So let me just cut it down a bit so there won't be an echo all right that seems good enough all right I feel like I've been saying all right way too many times okay so through this door we go where will it take us the developers now Okay, we got these lily pads right here. Am I high up enough for it to occur? Yes, I am. Yeah, you can flip the lily pads by jumping on them. That will be important later on. And also, the little thorny parts, they hurt. They hurt you bad. And we got some skull tulas right here. Nope, got, nope, nope. There we go. Alright, not having trouble with them today. No sir, Bob. Okay! So far, so good with that there combat. C -c -c combat breaker? No. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the door where you gotta utilize that thing. Rear. No, first the back, then the rear, then the back of your left, and the back of the right hand. Or Strike the gemstones pointing in four directions wisely. The way will only open for the one who knows the temple sacred order. I really didn't understand what the hell they meant by rear. Then, the... oh well, whatever. Um, so I think it goes. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Yay! I don't know why that was correct. I still don't understand it. I will really appreciate it if somebody will explain the purpose of that in in the comments. Just tell me what the game meant by rear or back in the rear, then the back of the left hand, back of the right hand. I truly did not understand that at all. All right, whatever. Maybe it has something to do with the map. Oh, I don't know. Okay. So far, progress is going a lot smoother than my first time through here. Okay. Time for some li- Ah! Oh, let's go to a little. Turn around. Nope. That's not, that's not, okay, okay. 
There you go. Any more skull tulas? There's a skull up there. Hmm. Is it? Ooh, rupee. It's a green rupee. With money is money. Okay. Now let me let me hurry up and get out of here before I drown. Okay, that was freaking epic. Which set of vines? I'll go with these vines. I like how these vines look. There is absolutely nothing up here. The vines, they lied to me. Oh, God, no. Oh, well. It's not that bad. Okay. You, but you are now dead. Up here. Yep, we go. Okay, um, actually, where the hell do I need to go? Do I need to flip this one so I can swim underneath? Yeah, that's a good rupee right there. That's a good rupee. That's 20 rupees. We will go out of our way for 20 rupees. Yeah, ooh, there's another 20 rupees right there. Um, okay, forget progress for a minute. I need rupees. Wait, no, I think this is where I need to go anyway. It, it is, and I missed the rupee! Link! Rupee! Okay. I managed to do it somehow. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Nope. Link is about to die. Okay. Crisis averted. Ooh. Nope. Do not swim underwater. Link. We got more rupees. Rupees are always nice to have. It will help you out in any predicament. Blue treasure chest. Will it be useful? Probably not. Oh, small key! That is useful! That is very useful! That is useful indeed. Thank you, small key, for being there when I need you the most. Alright. So, I know I can't... Oh, I can jump on that. I thought that was scalding water. But it's not. We got Baba right here. But it is now a dead Baba. Now let's see, do I want to go into the center or do I want to ascend some more? Oh no, I can't ascend. So yep, to the center we go! Chew! You should have been dead during my initial killing of the Chews. Now, this is the first part of this dungeon that makes it my favorite. First part. Alright, well, this, this is pretty much the dungeon's gimmick. This little center area, you know, the huge statue of that guy we saw from the outside. Yeah, it functions like one huge elevator. And at the very top, that's where we're going to have to put the little thing to get to the boss corridor. I don't know why I pointed at that, but whatever. That's right, I've taken the liberty to confirm that the door is located at the uppermost section of the statue. The lock is unfamiliar to me. Thank you for sharing that fee. Alright, but yeah, there's nothing we can do now except go down. Sailcloth. Mini boss fight already. Facing a new kind of Stalfos right here. Like General. Stalfos meets General Grievous. Our lock stall master. An elite captain of the undead soldiers when provoked has the ability to strike with all four of its sword wooden arms, just like Grievous. Her man inflicting damage when the sight gap presents itself as it raises its sword to attack. Only instead of using uh shoot. Okay. But again, instead of using lightsabers, he's using swords. And I actually need to focus. Because he is murdering my ass right now. Holy crap. Okay, I dealt enough damage for him to do out all four. Huh, four swords of action. Nope! Okay, there we go. Got a time that shield bash. Oh, and then he does all that. Okay. 
Oh wow, you gotta stop being some predictable guy. Thrust! Yeah, slowly but surely we're whittling down his HP. Nope. Okay, there we go. Right. I was not expecting that. Oh my dear lord! Okay. He is about to destroy my sacred shield. Okay, uh, let, let me give it some time to... Alright, uh, let me, let me just break one of these. Hearts, please. Hearts. I'm getting murdered here. Hearts! Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, come on, guy. Come on. Come on, give me some breathing room. Alright. He mad, huh? There we go! It was just one attack <laughs> That always makes me laugh. <laughs> Just the uh, legs walking around and they slip on a bone. How pitiful for such a worthy opponent. And yeah, with any mini boss fight in the Legend of Zelda game, with him out the way, we now get the item of this dungeon. We got the whip attached to the end of the whip. It's a strange glowing sphere of light that can light on the various things. If you see something you can't reach, target it with Z and swing the rear mode to snag with your whip. SNAP! They just had to throw in that automatopoeia right there, but okay. Uh, Alright, no, wrong button. Link. So yeah, now we have the whip. This item really comes in handy. Like, seriously, it really does come in handy. Plus, with the whip... Wait, wrong button. The whip, we can do some of that. We're going Indiana Jones up in this Arabic Hindu-esque temple. Some sort. I really do get a little Hindu vibe from this temple. It's quite nice. I like it. Let's see, do I want to go higher now, or do I want to? Well, I'll, I'll go up higher right now. Okay. Right, got a little another one. Oh wait, door we can exit out of. Where we can do absolutely nothing. I believe we're in his nose or mouth. Okay. Higher up we go. We got a tablet. Look for the key that lies beneath the earth. Hey! Based on the patterns we have seen so far, I believe the key mentioned on the stone marker is the key required to unlock the device ahead of us. Yeah, I don't say. Even that. Oh my god, I just have. I just really love the design of this place. Wow! Putting that parkour training to use! I overshot that. I didn't overshadow it. Wow, you could actually drown in that? Okay. I mean, that had the air meter. Yeah, I didn't really overshoot it. I just wasn't going to make that jump in my life. Just rambling, not even speaking English anymore. It doesn't matter because we're about to ascend in this main room. Armed with a whip. Channeling our inner Indiana Jones. Yeah, we don't even eat vines anymore. Link, the King of Swing. We can also aim through bars, but there's nothing to whip behind those bars. And we got a dungeon map. Hmm. Doesn't seem that big. Okay, well, yeah, this dungeon map is kind of useless, but hey, you know, they still give it to you. Hey, actually, where the hell do I need to go now? Up, Bert. 
that. Grab him over here. Nope, nope, nope. Put that away, Link. Put that... Oh, God. Pulled out the whip when I was supposed to be killing him mercilessly. Come on. About to kick your bird ass. Sorry, I'm just mad at birds right now. Just... My car was looking so clean and the bird had to go and crap on my car. Like, really? Seriously, bird? But then it rained and, you know, it washed away the crap, but it also made me feel bad for even getting my car washed in the first place. Curse you, rain and nature. Wait a minute. No, I don't think there's anything else I can do. And No. So I think what I need to do is actually out here in the hub, then. Let me just explore. Yeah, we got underwater chews and those pufferfish guys. what I need to do out here. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, maybe it is. Yes. Alright, because also with this whip, we can flip lily pads. So, just... Yeah, grab it. Whip it. Whip it good. Also do some of that. And now we can ascend a little higher. Oh yeah, silver rupee right there. Don't well might as well just show you what happens if you try to go for it. Ah oh, crap, I missed it. Uh, yep! That's what happens. They punish you for your greed. I wonder, can you actually get it? Oh, wow, you can! Wow! I've never actually successfully gotten that. Wow, okay, cool. Cool beans, yo. My greed came through. It's amazing. Wario would be proud. Seriously, I honestly didn't know you could actually get that and escape unscathed. Now, because of that, watch me have a hard time. Like, I was able to cheat out, you know, the people that created this dungeon who wanted to punish greedy travelers. And this is not the right place, is it? Over there is where I want to be at. Okay, I think I'm missing something here. Uh, boy. Into the fish mouth, maybe? Yes! Into the fish mouth! Okay, new area, new area, okay. We got some Skull Tula action up in the building. But now he is dead. Hey, let me get that heart. Ooh, treasure chest. A red rupee. Always nice. I hope I don't end up maxing out my uh, rupee count here. Okay, so we got that. I like how you're able to perfectly aim through the bars, you know, on your first try. But hey, video game logic. Okay, new area. They shooting! <laughs> they shooting! And they got choose! Choose! Okay, but whatever. Yeah. 
Enough of your games. Anybody else want some? I see you up there, guy.